Hey guys, how's it going today? I just wanted to make a quick uh, video. I had a uh, Craigslist pickup today and um, just wanted to show you guys what I got here today. Uh, I want to preface by saying this was not a very cheap lot, unfortunately. Uh, I saw it on Craigslist and uh, I thought I'd do a little bit better because um, I'm, I'm probably going to end up like selling a lot of this stuff off just so I can get some freebies, but I thought I would do a little better, but it just didn't come out like that. But I wanted to uh, make a quick uh, video and let you guys know. Um, I paid one hundred and nine. The guy wanted two hundred dollars for this lot, and um, it was a Super Nintendo lot off Craigslist. And, and um, I basically uh, I got him down to one hundred ninety bucks. I didn't really didn't want to, you know, hit him down too hard because other people were. He really wanted to get full price. Uh, it wasn't spectacular by any means, and it wasn't a big home run or anything. But um, uh, you know, the, on, on the on the other end of that, I really didn't want to let it go. So. I'll show you guys what I got. So for 190 bucks, uh, and I should do okay. You know, I'll, I'll get a few games for free here, um, but that's kind of what I do. I buy lots and part things out and get what I want and stuff. So, so for 190 bucks, I got um, the Super Nintendo console. It's not. It's got some discoloration on the top, but it's in good shape. I mean, um, there's no cracks or anything, which which is nice. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit, and I'll probably get, I'll probably get 40 40 bucks for that. All right. So we got that. Um, got, um, of course, we got the uh, two uh, Super Nintendo because he had listed it was five controllers. That's why I thought that it was going to be good because I usually get like fifteen bucks for these things, but it was two uh, Super Nintendo branded controllers. Uh, one um, Pelican Accessories controller that. Uh, I haven't seen one of these yet, but one of these. Um, I see. I, I've got quite a few of these that I've gotten in trades and stuff. It's the high frequency, which actually are neat controllers. They're not bad. They're just not. They're not factory controllers, but they work pretty good. I mean, I've I've played with them. I like the plastic material on them. And this is a really strange controller. I can't. Maybe if you guys know anything about this, uh, please let me know because I have no idea. I've seen. Uh, product similar to this, but nothing quite like this. It's a uh, Nakatech Power to Perform. It's a hybrid controller. It basically plays, um, it's got this little piece on the end here that allows you to play uh, both Genesis and you can pull it off, both Genesis and you can put this back on and then you can play Super Nintendo. But the weird thing is, it's got this, if you see this pad right here, it's, it's basically, I mean, um, you, there's no arrows. You just it's like a sensor or something. It's from 1992, and uh, I'm actually curious to check this out. I I want I, I want to keep this, but I don't know if it, if it's a collectible thing. I can't find anything on the internet about it. So I guess we're just going to find out what that's all about. Maybe maybe one of you guys have seen something like that, or if anything, just let me know. So um, on to the games. Oh yeah, it came from of course the um, RF adapter. And um, factory power cord, which I only use these anyway for Super Nintendo. So I've got about 30 of them. Um, okay, let's see here. So for the games, we got um, Street Fighter 2. Okay. Oh, this is a good one. This was really this is an awesome game for the the computer back in the early 90s. I was playing this on the PC regularly. Um, Wolfenstein 3D. And if you guys haven't ever played on the computer, you really should check it out. It's a lot of fun. It was actually the first uh, shooting game that I ever remember playing. Um, we got uh, MTV's Beavis and Butthead. Now, if you guys aren't 90s, 90s kids, then uh, you probably only heard about them, but I remember when these guys first came out and they're a lot of, they're pretty funny guys, but I, I want to, I haven't played most of this stuff, so I will give that a shot. Um, I have sold these in the past, and these do, these do pretty well. It's uh, Tetris and Dr. Mario. And that's the Player's Choice Edition, it looks like. Good one. Good condition. These are, these are all in nice, con you know, nice condition. Um, the backings probably might need to be changed out a little bit because they have some discoloration and retail stickers and stuff. But uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, we got uh, Mortal Kombat 1 which is nice, nice label. 
and Mortal Kombat 2. Usually what I do with these is I'll wait till I get like Mortal Kombat, the trilogy, and then I'll put them on eBay for like 30 bucks. And usually they sell pretty fast that way. Um, we got uh, Virtual Bart. Uh, again, I've never played that. Never even knew he existed. Uh, um, Tetris Attack. This actually does pretty well for being a Tetris game. I think this is like a $15 game. So, we'll give that a shot. Um, on to the better ones. So, the reason I really bought this lot was because uh, these games right here. We got, uh, and I, I, I have several copies of this. Lots and lots of these. And I can't believe they're only asking $9.99 at some point. <laughs> it must have been a while ago. Anyway, Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong Country 2. We got... Uh, I've, I've, I've got a couple of copies of this at the house. Uh, this, this is a good game. I do really well with this. It's uh, Super Mario All-Stars Super Mario World. It's the combination two. And this, this is a good game, by the way. If you guys don't, in, in fact, I think you would actually, even though it costs more to buy this, you'll probably save money just by getting this as opposed to getting uh, Mario World and All-Stars because it's, it's, it's rolled into one. Um, a Link to the Past, Player's Choice Edition. Uh, I do really, really well with these. People, this stuff right here is good. Uh, people, I, I've got about five or six copies of this in my own personal collection. But people, they... Uh, they love this. Um, we got um, Mega Man X, which is a pretty popular game. I've never this is the first copy I've ever had of Mega Man X, uh, but I'm happy to have it. I uh, don't know what I'm going to do with that. This might be something I I add to my collection. Uh, and I've already got one of these. I got I got one of these back uh, in September when I picked up that like thousand dollar lot for 60 bucks and um it ended up being uh one of these in there but it's this is a good game and this does really really well and it's it's a it's a pretty expensive game actually it's um uh kirby superstar eight games in one this this is a good game and people love this and um i might just i might just keep this i, I want to i need to sell off probably about 60 percent of this lot to pay you know or probably a little more maybe about 70 percent in order to get some of these games for free uh, Link to the Past, I've already got several copies of that. I don't need any more of those. But, um, and there's some games like Wolfenstein and a Bart game. I don't really think I'll need that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know, guys. What do you think? Maybe I, uh, I don't know. I know it wasn't that spectacular of a, of a deal or anything, but I, it wasn't a deal I was prepared to let just slip, slip away. I mean, I, I know that uh, whenever I see an opportunity to, to buy a lot of something and I can... Uh, either make some money on it or I can, uh, you know, uh, add to my collection for free. I, I usually jump on it. I mean, I, I figure what's a little bit of work, you know, to, to get your games for free. And you can. You can get your games for free all the time, especially when yard sale season comes around. Uh, ga games are a lot cheaper, and you can get a lot of them and everything. So, you know, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um, you know, I, 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 this, this wasn't a home run by any means, but I figured I'd, I'd share it with you guys. I haven't made a pickup video in a while. I've been really, really busy with, um, with uh, I mean, I've, I've been in the Nintendo business for the last, you know, have, however long it's been, but I've just been really, really busy with, with it and, um, and making deals and stuff. And, and I don't, usually don't even make videos about that stuff. I mean, it's just... It's, it would be, it, you guys would get so tired of it. So I, I, I just, whenever something cool, whenever I come up with a Craigslist uh, find or whatever, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll come on here and show you or whatever. Yard sale season is starting soon, and I'm really going to have some videos then. But I, I sure appreciate it, guys. Uh, I love you guys. Take care. We'll talk to you later. Bye.